Okay, now we want to talk about rational inequalities. Um, and again, we'll follow the same sort of procedure. We want definitely to get zero on one side of the inequality. We'll do the same interval testing. But really the points where this can change, where outputs can change sign are either um, the zeros, right? Or points of discontinuity. Which for rational functions is where the denominator is zero, right? Okay, so let's do this example, and then and then we just do the same interval testing, right? That's the kind of the outline of the procedure. So I want to do this example to solve x minus 1, x plus 1, over x less than or equal to 0. And so my I have 0 on one side. And then if I let this function be f of x be this rational function, um, points of discontinuity are the points where the function is not continuous, are at x is equal to 0, this point that makes the denominator 0. So this is coming right here, setting the denominator equal to 0 and solving. Okay, in this case I don't have to solve anything, but okay, so that's one of the points that will divide up my um, my interval. Now I need to also, that's the only point, so also zeros. So I set this function f of x is equal to 0 and solve. <clears throat> and when I solve this, I multiply both sides by the denominator, and really I end up getting zeros of the numerator as zeros of this function, right? Note, I just want to make this note. Note that these zeros are really zeros of the numerator. So in some way, a lot of times when you see this presentation, you'll see you're told to find zeros of the denominator, places where the denominator is zero, and zeros of the numerator, the places where the numerator is zero, and just include all of those. And that's why, okay, these points of discontinuity and the zeros of the original function, okay? So I have this minus one, zero was also uh, from this point of discontinuity, and then this splits my domain, and I do the same interval testing. So test point, negative 2, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 2. F of my test point, and let me plug this in to my calculator. Okay, and at negative 2, I get negative 1.5. Here I have 1.5, negative 1.5, and then again at 2, 1.5. And if we remember and look back up, I'm looking for where this function is less than or equal to 0. So just so that, and sometimes uh, I'll encourage you, like this is my point of discontinuity, right? And these are zeros right here. So when I write this where it's less than, where is f of x less than or equal to zero? When I write that, that's here and here, okay? So it's less than or equal to zero 
here it'll be minus infinity and then it's equal to zero at this point negative one so I have this closed bracket. Now I have to um, bring that together with this here it's not equal to zero at zero it's actually undefined at zero so I can't include that endpoint I have to use this closed I mean open parentheses but then I go up to one and it is equal to zero at one okay so kind of this you have to think about whether or not you're using these open or closed braces okay let's do one more um, of these so that you can kind of see I just want to show you an example of one where you might have to do some maneuvering so I have this inequality that doesn't have zero on one side so I need to solve so I want to just subtract this whole term on the right okay and we can look at this function um, just by itself or you can look at um, combining this into one rational inequality and either way you should be getting um, kind of the same answer but but I'll look at maybe combining this into making one rational function here to do that I get a common denominator so I multiply this 5 by x plus 1 so that's over x minus 3 and x plus 1 and I multiply this 3 by x minus 3 and, and that's um, that's now over x minus 3 and x plus 1 and so I get 5x plus 5 minus 3x plus 9 all over this common denominator and then I get let's say 2x 5x minus 3x but plus 14 over x minus 3 and x plus 1 okay so when I look at this function the function that I'm looking at I have f of x is this 2x plus 14 and x minus 3 x plus 1 Okay, discontinuous points of discontinuity at x equal to 3 and negative 1 zeros again where 2x plus 14 is equal to 0 x is negative 7 so I, I'll draw this number line negative 7, negative 1, 3 here's my interval minus infinity to negative 7, negative 7 to negative 1 negative 1 to 3 and 3 to infinity and then I pick a test point in here negative 8, negative 5, 0 and 4 and my function f of my test point okay and I'll go back up and put in this function that I have okay for negative 8 I get negative 0 0.026 for negative 0.5 I get 0.125 for 0 I get negative 4.67 and for 4 I get 4.4 okay and the original problem asked where this thing was positive 
So that is here and here I have positive values. So minus 7 and negative 1 and 3 to infinity. Okay. Okay, that's rational inequalities and solving them using interval testing. Let me know if you have questions.